everybody. Welcome to Canada Cup 2019, coming to you live from Calgary, Alberta. What, what, what is this? this is oh, I'm embracing death. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. I'm James Chen. <laughs> and I'm Zerk. How's everybody going? We are here for some Samurai Showdown action here, and we've got a lot of the strong players. This is part of the SNK World Tour, so the winner of this will qualify. So we've got a lot of strong players in the house ready to play here. I wanted to play so bad, but I was like, I'm commentating, and like I can't like <laughs> run back and forth, you know. Uh, so I, technically, I just forgot to register. Yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> to be honest with you, that's the only reason why I'm not in these tournaments blowing everybody up and winning all of it because I have to commentate you know I, 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 I gotta commentate <laughs> right so otherwise I'd be winning but you know we're gonna take it up to the first match coming up here for our players and interestingly enough you know I did not know for example that Terrence was a Samurai Showdown player yeah learning so, a, a lot of a lot about players that are playing games that we don't expect to see them in mm -hmm. so yeah we got Terrence here at, and I thought he was about to pick Hanzo but he just switched to Charlotte. Ah, All okay, right. that makes sense. And he's going up against <laughs> JMX, going with uh, Yoshi Tora. And Charlotte, you know, uh, I know a, person, a lot of people rate Charlotte as a very strong character. Mm -hmm. I think Charlotte is extremely good. <laughs> and Yo Yoshi was as well, but he's yeah. suffered some minor nerves yeah, as well. So, so surprised to see him still being chosen, but I mean, we'll see what JMX can pull out with him. Yep. Yeah, and you know, watching Terrence, obviously a very strong Chun-Li player in Street Fighter V. One of the key things about the way that Terrence plays is he really does have a lot of very strong fundamentals with button choice and, and neutral, so yeah, exactly. I expect him to be able to play this game very well. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, it makes perfect sense. Like, he plays a, a very neutral button heavy character in Street Fighter and then he comes into the Sam show where like that's the name of the game and now he's doing so with an even better character now <laughs> both better fireballs and content to just just like, chuck these all day so trying to use the armor to get through there but unfortunately he has just been kept out so well right now especially with the ability to delay those fireballs yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> that is a Hail Mary to get in if there ever was one, but it worked out. Nice but unfortunately, cross. ended up going forward, and Charlotte with one of the best cross up normals, in jumping normals in the game, if not the best cross up normal. So, yeah, we're, we're already seeing the space being controlled so perfectly by Terrence. It's really hard for JMX to get in. He's not winning uh, any exchange here, he's <laughs> trying to figure out how to close the distance. Yeah, just no, no, uh, he's not spot dodging any of the fireballs or anything like that. Or he, even neutral jumping them, like... I mean, he did armor through one of them one time, and I think that was the right idea. He just went in a little after he armored it and got hit by the, the... <laughs> yeah, he can go... I call it the vapor thrust, I know it's not vapor thrust, but that's what it sounds like she says, vapor thrust! Oh, look at the spot dodge by Yo, Terrence! No fear. And uh, that's the way, yeah. so that's the game one. Going to Terrence. So, yeah, like you were saying, JMX needs to kind of armor through, but he needs to realize you don't have to do the hit. You can mm -hmm. do empty command jump and then, you know, go for a grab right. or into just, a punish. Or just get closer, block, see how they react, and use it as information every single time. There we yeah. go. Because last time he did it, he got hit by the, the bayonet The bayonet lunge, I think is what it is. Oh, he's crouching. So, yeah, that's a free combo. Look how mm -hmm. much damage that was. All right. He's got the, the corner. Can he keep the pressure this time? He finally is where he wants to be. Oh, and Terrence is like, no, no, sir. He's like, I'm just going to jump out of here. Thank you. Oh, back dash, though? Stan yeah. H also is, a, is pretty good. If he gets to that neutral range, he'll be able to oh, point it just like that. Okay, <laughs> I like that option right there. I wonder why he hasn't done that earlier. Try to catch him before the fireball even gets out. Oh, Yeah, but right now she has the rage meter, so the oh. heavy fireball is going to hit three times, and he has gone for this in round one. Yeah, question, always questionable, the round one rage explosion. He probably did it and was like, oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Uh. And again, wasted Easton now. No more meter for the rest of the game, and he's down around. Yikes. Okay. So this is going to be an uphill battle for him. 
Oh, okay. Catches him. Not that much damage despite the 18 hits. Overhead knockdown. And guess what? After you get that overhead knockdown, you get to run away. Cross up and he was crouching again. Yikes. The down back is strong. <laughs> down back is real. Yep. Okay. It's like you said, he doesn't need to do the attack after the lunge, after the armored lunge. And that's, that's possibly a, a sign of, you know, the experience of a player. That probably works for him a lot online, so he hasn't really thought about not doing the attack. Right. Because people like to press buttons online, and then it's like, oh, you know, absorb the hit and hit them, and then they keep pressing buttons, so you absorb the hit and hit them. But Terrence is like, nah, dog. Terrence finishing it off with the... We never use this move, move with Charlotte, <laughs> except at the end of the rounds, like him, her, and uh, Jubei. It's like, let's use the lightning, lightning hands, 100 hand slap, only at the end to chip people to death. <laughs> yeah, I definitely never use that with Jubei. I switched to Jubei, actually, recently. Oh, really? I was playing Halmaru, and then when they nerfed uh, 6 6 -P, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, I was uh -huh. like... Oh man, I can get punished for this now? Never mind. <laughs> Dude, it's funny for me because, like, I picked Jubei because he's always been my favorite Samurai Showdown character, so I have the character loyalty. Then I picked Charlotte because I, I thought she was pretty good and I, I wanted to help train all my, my crew, you know, the, mm. the guys that I played with by playing a lot of Charlotte. And it turns out like they're two of the best characters. So yeah. I'm sitting pretty right now. I'm doing good right now. I'm doing good. Yeah, it was funny because like the first character I picked up, I always knew I liked Haomaru, right? And uh -huh, I was like, uh -huh. I was like, nobody else really interests me. And then they showed Shiki, and I was like, she really interests me. And then she was terrible. Yep. And I was like, okay, Haomaru it is. And then they buffed Shiki. I was like, sweet. Yep. <laughs> I can so, play. so are you a Shiki player now? Uh, I have a pocket Shiki. Like, okay. I'm learning with her. Awesome. It's, awesome. It's it's interesting. I, I I like having a fireball. That's why I went to, uh, to okay, Jubei okay, instead. gotcha. But uh, Wooly versus Living. Yeah, Wooly has been another player who's been deep into the Samurai Showdown. Yo, he's wearing an arm shirt. Shout out to arms. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. All right, jumping into it, Dali Daga. Ali Daga. Now, a character who has gotten buffed in the patches, still not considered one of the strongest characters, but has definitely gotten better. But uh, Tam Tam, still effective at being able to keep people out. Right. Ooh, what? Uh, Ooh, thought that was going to hit on the ground, so he canceled it. Wow. What? <laughs> Winning that trade. All right. He's doing a lot of those. That's the second time we've seen him just, like, Instant jump, was that, L or M? And that leaves him so vulnerable with yeah. the whips. But I mean, it's a good button, it's a good attack. If you catch them... Yeah, if Willie jumps. Yeah. What? what? Oh, okay, all right, I suppose. She didn't even... What do you think he was expecting there? She didn't have a fireball. Yeah. <laughs> At least not that I know of, right? <laughs> I mean, uh... uh she has a super secret move, you know, that, I, that I'm unaware of. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was odd. That was an odd attempt from Living Fiend there, yeah, but I mean, it could have even just been like uh, an ex. I, I don't know. Execution error. Yeah, like, I'm not sure. How do you, how do you get SSM <laughs> right, by accident? Uh, oh, armored. Yeah, Ooh. and he hit a button too. So guess what? No weapon for you. Dashing forward to make sure that yep. he does not gain access. To, ah, it's gone. Done. And that's but it. He has the life lead though, so Willy has to go over there, and yeah, that's going to give him uh, access to the weapon. Yeah, Wooly probably should not have changed direction, changed sides, right. actually. He could have just dashed into it. Yep. Oh, but uh, but you know what? She had already jumped, didn't get the deep jump in. But Wooly has life lead now, now but only yeah. barely. And those chips are going to add up eventually. Got Ooh, air to air, nice. And especially because Darley's jump is not that high. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tam Tam's is very high. So the fact that she won that air to air, very, very uh, fortunate for Wooly. Yeah, great, great hitbox on the aerial. Um, and he pressed early, too. So it was already mm -hmm. active once Living Fiend went up to meet it. It was pretty close, though, at least in that second round. <laughs> Did it hit? <laughs> you know, those, the, the weapons do have hurt boxes on them, so. Mm -hmm. Ooga booga. Those skulls, unless they're close up, will not combo. Wow, Living Fiend doing a lot better this game, too. Oh, oh but there's that dead zone in the middle of that button. 
And again, weapon gone. He's going to pick it up, though, pretty easily. Especially there. Oh, yeah. Oh. And she, all she did was just kick. All Wooly did was kick. Could have got so much more damage yeah. there. Got a little frantic. Wasn't sure if he was going to pick up the weapon right there. Nice spot dodge. Yeah. Oh, but that's punishable. Oh. But not, that was a forward throw. So you cannot combo C off of the forward throw. Correct. Only the back throw. And Wooly should know that. That's the thing. What? what a not, we've got two what? crazy what? SSMs, right? dude. He just wanted the comeback right there, right now. I guess he figured that was his best opportunity for the comeback that round. Right, like do or die at that point. Yep. If it hits, great. If not, I was probably going to lose this round anyway. <laughs> oh, Ooh. is it going to get through? It he does, yes. Yeah, it was the forward movement of that weapon flipping technique that allowed him to get past the fireball. And again, just going for, for like crouch kick on the weapon pickup. Yeah, that's always a tricky thing. Is like Ooh. if you think the guy's gonna fake the weapon pick up, you're just trying to keep him away from the weapon. Then they pick it up and you kick him, and you're like, dang it, I didn't get any damage on this. Oh man, spot dodge a little early there, but it was the right decision. He's a life lead right now. Goes Block. for the overhead. Yeah, block the overhead and just walks for it and blows it up. Yep. I like it. Where the the presence of mind there from him. I don't even know why Lemming Fiend went for that so close. To oh, with. and the deflect, but he didn't do anything. Oh, but he got the trophy. <laughs> that's that's the real victory. I mean, on, like he gets the trophy. You guys don't know, but that means they automatically win the round. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Booga, booga. All right. Not sure why he's just getting hit by those skulls. Oh, here oh. we go. Weapon flipping technique. Now, this is round three. I would have liked to see an activation there yeah. from Living Fiend instead oh. of getting weapon flipped. The East and his. Is, is it enough? Oh, my. It is enough. And down Living Fiend goes. And Wooly is going to advance forward. And uh, there's this little girl dancing in the front, like in the second row here in this audience, and it's she is adorable. adorable. <laughs> and, uh, you know what? Like, have you seen like Toy Story three or four? I have not seen four yet, but you've seen three, right? Yeah. Reminds me of uh, Bonnie, the the, the 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 girl that that everyone that that the toys got given to. Oh yeah. <laughs> so she's like the main character of four, yeah. right? So you see her at the end of three. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, dang, you're right. <laughs> No, I haven't seen it either. Yeah, I know, but I didn't have any spoilers. It's just that she was in Toy Story 3, so there you go. <laughs> All right, so uh, coming up we have and Andiocr Andiocr versus Toast. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm assuming it's Andiocr. I apologize uh, if you're watching this VOD later and I'm saying your name incorrectly. So it looks like ah, it's going to be a Jubei versus Zinfukyo. Oh, man, I'm having PTSD. <laughs> oh, but this is Toast. He just made top eight in Unist. Mm. So, uh, and, and then he was also doing commentary with me for Unist. And he's going up against Andy OCR. Who won oh, it's Andy e OCR. All right. Who won ECT. He I just won ECT. So, obviously... He's one of the best right now. Okay. Maybe considered the strongest in our country at this point. Maybe at least top three. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm having PTSD flashbacks. I got I lost to two Jubeis at CEO Taku. <laughs> so, I mean, not Jubeis. Uh, ukyos, two uh, Ukyos, yeah. And I'm gotcha. just like, ugh. The 50-50s, man. You yep. just got to get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gets in there and with it, that. And it begins. Yeah, the 6K. <laughs> Great button, but nice block. There we go. And he's going to get the damage off of that. And the overhead. Yeah, and here we go. Speaking of 50-50s, Jubei's got him himself. Just True. waiting for the roll forward and went for the 2A there. And now cornered and knocked down. The, the Tsubami Gaishi whiffing, though. Good for Andy. Yeah, and in the corner gets the three hits, or micro walk at least. Man, another trophy. Automatic win for the round. Yep. For Andy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, 6K getting the knockdown there. It's one of his best tools. If you can space it properly, you get the knockdown and you can get in. And it's not very punishable either. 
Yeah, smart. I like this by Andy. He realizes, like, he, he's not getting too anxious. You know, a lot of players, they're like, they get the life lead, and they keep going in. And in Sam Show, it's a game you really don't have to do that. I just saw it. There's actually a shirt I just saw on Twitter. It says, life lead and chill. <laughs> and, nice. And it's got, like, the Netflix font and colors. And I'm like, this is perfect. Like, Andy understands that fully. All right, here we go. Gets the uppercut. <laughs> Try to chase him down, and there we go. It's Mama Guys over instant overhead. Ooh. Another one. And. But he's got to be careful right now because he's in the life range that if he gets a Tsubame Guys block, you're getting SSM. Right. And that's it. That'll be the end of the round. Now, it's interesting because Andy's throwing his fireballs and Toast is getting hit by him. He can reflect those. Yep. Life lead and chill. No, walks into a button. Ooh, Second time this round. I like the A out of the air, and now we're in chip danger. Jube, yeah, and, and in fact, I think Andy OCR was probably going to cancel that into some form of uppercut or something like that. That was a late Tsubame um, trying to catch him pressing a button coming down, but it was a, a little bit too early still, so it whiffed. Um, yeah, twice that round, Toast threw away the life lead uh, by doing the exact opposite of what I was saying Andy does. You know, Andy gets the life lead and chills, and Toast gets the life lead, and it's like, I'm trying to finish this. Relax, guy. Right. Trying to deflect after that running kick. Gets the combo punish here. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. Try to bait out the forward roll out of the corner. Ooh, mm. again, Tsubami guys. That time wasn't even just great spot dodge. <laughs> Both spot dodging. <laughs> oh no, actually he went for the throw. You're right, you're right. Looked like a dodge, but that was a throw. Ooh, was that chip? Or did he just stop blocking in the middle there? Because remember, there actually is no uh, absolute guard in this game. Mm -hmm. If you let go, you just get hit. It didn't look like that would have been enough to chip. It was the, it was the powered up version though. No, actually, never mind. No. Ooh, he could have eased in that landing. That was a great activation. He didn't capitalize off of it. Sorry, it was the heavy version, not the powered up. Ooh, wow. Dashed up and nothing. And yeah, spent that burst very early. Yeah, that's... Oh, man. And, and it, again, it wasn't so bad that he used it because he is down a round, but it was bad that he didn't use the e -send when he could have to get the damage. Ooh, nice backdash to get away from the, 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 the 2C. And Andy almost had the deflect on that other 2C. It was actually just out of range and it, it missed. Ooh, too far. He's, yeah, he's got to get his spacing on point. We've seen a lot of whiffs Tsubamis from Toast. And that universal overhead from Jube is so good. <laughs> Low crush, hit so far away, knocks down. Oh, and then the 6 6 C. What was he pressing? That move is so good, too. Oh, he went for the double deflect. Oh, and dead. Yeah, and you know what? No meter to burst. Yep, good stuff to Andy OCR. Definitely kept the pace of that match. He was in control pretty much the whole time. Um, Toast, you know, he had the right idea, but it, he just needs to needs to put it into yeah. practice a little bit more. So. And what a read there by Andy OCR. He got hit, after, he, he deflect, deflect, got hit, and then after getting hit, immediately ran up and threw. Yep. No fear. He's like, he's not going to do anything. Sam <laughs> Samurai never feared death. That's just what it is. He really embraced it. So wait. Oh. Uh, so it looks like we were going to have one match coming up, but nope. Instead, we are having Street 11, who's playing in everything. I've commentated. This is the fourth game this weekend that I've commentated him in. Wait, so what? KOF? He was in KOF. He was Eunice. in Eunice and BB Tag. Okay. And now Samurai Showdown. Street 11 plays everything. Man likes his fighting games. <laughs> but he, he's going up against Score, who actually won KOF mm. here. He had already qualified, though, so El Rosa... Uh, in second place is going to qualify for the SNK World Tour. But uh, I don't know if Score has uh, qualified for Sam's show yet. Probably not. Okay, a little bit off topic. 
but from where we're sitting, we can see the other stream, uh, the the Street Fighter Five stream. No, and I, I just have to shout out Gamer B for using the best Nakali costume. Oh, okay. That, like, I don't know why. Anytime I see it, I'm like, why don't all Nakali players use right. the Halloween costume? Because right. it's hands down like one of the best it's costumes so in Street Fighter Five. And you guys can't, you can't, you can see the little girl that I'm talking about here in the stream. There, she was standing oh, on yeah. the stream. And uh, yeah, because even the colored outfit that she's wearing looks mm -hmm. a lot like. Uh, the character from Toy Story. <laughs> I don't know why I'm upset. I just saw Toy Story 4 on the plate. Okay? Oh, that's I'm why. not okay. spoiling anything Shoot. about it, but if you haven't seen it, you need to go see it. It's all about the feels, man. My plane didn't have uh, monitors, so I just slept the whole time. <laughs> that's for me on the Switch right there. I can't wait till Sam Show comes out on the Switch. I can't wait till. I want them to put Twitch on the Switch. Dude, right? That, yeah. It'll be over. Be yeah. Over. <laughs> Twitch on the Switch. I mean, it works just for. <laughs> you've seen the elf on the shelf. Now we see Twitch on the Switch. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How many times has Slash been tempted to mute me this weekend? <laughs> the score is going with the Haomaru. Street 11 going with the Jubei. So these Jubei are your characters right here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> And honestly, I, I feel like with the way that they've touched Haomaru, I, I feel like Jubei wins this matchup. But it's a very honest matchup nonetheless. Well, they did, they did fix Haomaru's running punch a mm -hmm. little bit. They, they, they didn't make it quite to what it was before, but it's better than, than, than right. after they nerfed it. So. Yeah, so he's, he's back to like most of his former glory. So this is, this is a super Shoto matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Hit him out of the air. Don't don't play that landing mix-up game. Not quite enough to kill, but so close Samples. to Chip. He could just he could simple chip him out. Yeah. Could have forced him to block one on wake up there and he'd only need one more probably to chip to chip. Yeah, but you gotta be careful. Even if he goes for like the like the flip sword, Jubei can counter those. He can oh counter special moves. The jump ins, relax! He's gonna, oh, he's gonna get in, he jumped in there we go, finally got the kill. Oh my gosh. Street Eleven working on that comeback. I feel like uh, I feel like he was uh, he was just trying to throw that around the way. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got confirmation that Score qualified for the SNK World Championships for both games at uh, at UFA 2019. So he has qualified for both of them. So he's just basically here to uh, to uh, uh, play spoiler right now. Right, he's gatekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Justin's also qualified already as well. And I know he's at this tournament. Mm -hmm. Oh! Yep, activates the e -sin. He can win with this if he can get the hit. Yep. But, but score. he's got to do it soon. And uh, score's not going to let it happen soon. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. The blood spray. You see him scratching his head. He's like, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> It's so funny, too, because, like, when the game first came out, like, the way Ethan worked, I was just like, this thing is so good. Like, every time you activate, how are you not going to land this, like, every single time? But it actually turns out to not be that easy to land. Right. <laughs> Ooh, there we go, punish. Yes. Ouchies. That hurts. Though, to be fair, Jubei's far standing C, I feel like, is one of the lesser damaging. Oh! Nice. Oh my ah, god. Dude, that is I call that the endorphin rush <laughs> right there. Whenever you whenever I land Jubei's parry, I pop off. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I don't pop off in fighting games, okay? And you yeah, you definitely don't see that happen often. Yeah. It, it definitely turned around around for him. Dude, every, Jubei landing that counter, I swear, is like the ultimate adrenaline rush. Oh. I love it. Like, oh. That's one of those moves, like, I'm too afraid to even input that. Like, <laughs> like if this doesn't work, I'm so right. done. All right, trying to keep the pressure. Went for the universal overhead, but wake up, jump. Wake up, jump. Very effective tactic in this game, interestingly enough. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like, we're not, neither one of them is really playing fireball games. They're just, they're just slugging at each other. <laughs> Wake up, throw into the weapon flip. Yeah, just take it at this point in time. Try to pick up your weapon the best you can. I don't know, that was a big life lead, so I guess that's why he took it. But I feel like if you burst there, you get to sit on that life lead because now he's not going to approach you. 
but I mean, you know. Yeah, I just still want to save that burst potentially for the next round, but things are not looking good because he scrolled the sword off the screen. So now, uh -oh. and Jubei is actually not necessarily the best swordless. Right. Because his running kick is kind of weak compared to a lot of characters, and so Score is able to take that round pretty easily at that point. Yeah, and that was overcoming a huge life lead. That weapon flip technique made all the difference. Oh, God. How Maru H is one of my favorite <laughs> moves in the game. <laughs> it's like that CVS2 when you hit him with that. Yeah. I make it sound like he comes from CVS2 first. Okay. That's that's terrible. I'm, 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 I'm not making that mistake again. That's just one of the most fun games that he did. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Anti-air dashing C. Score right now. Uh, at this point in time, maybe it seems like he should have burst that right. weapon flipping That's what technique. I'm there we go. Oh, okay. he gets the throw. Yeah, just go for the uppercut. Get the extra damage, the rage damage from that uppercut. He's gonna go for. Ooh. Oh, he didn't option select it. He could have option select that. Oh, but he gets the throw again. Okay. And so counter burst. Yes. I like that activation. Smart by him to not use it. Uh, because that was a possibility. Oh, oh he no. read it. Oh, but he was standing he did combo. Did he, did he try to counter it at the last second, maybe? Maybe at the last second, unfortunately. Because he just walked into it. So, I mean, obviously counter is a quarter circle back, so right. maybe he, like, walked forward to try to quickly input that. And then, yeah, that that's also... Um, rough sometimes in this game too when you try to like go forward and do a quarter yeah. circle back like you get uh, a special move and it's like oh no I meant to like stop like don't connect those two right, things like yeah, yeah. I want to do this and then stop doing this and then do that <laughs> but yeah you you were just talking about Justin Wong qualifying. Uh, we're about to see him here against so, Lightning. So here's the thing, right? Justin Wong, he, uh, I'm not sure how I mean for KOF. Score one, and then the second place person made it, right? Mm -hmm. Justin Wong said he didn't want to win this tournament because he wants to give the other people opportunities to travel, right? Well, maybe but maybe he doesn't it, realize But that. if it goes to second place, then it doesn't matter, right? So he can still win the money and blow everybody up. So, but he told me that he was going to play Basara oh, for yeah? this most ter mostly this tournament just for fun. Okay. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen or if, if he learned the difference on, on the rules or something because, you know, he, he, he is a father now, so he, you know, needs to Family man. Feed, feed the kids, right? He's got <laughs> right. to feed the kids. Yeah, we were talking about qualifying, but at the same time, there's still prize money. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're, that's an, another gatekeeper approaching. And let's see if he does, in fact, go with the Basara. It's funny because, like, being from Miami, there's a lot of, like, Latino influence. And we were, I was playing, I was trying the character out at a local and um, his name sounds like the word for garbage is for man, trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like, uh -huh. these dudes are like, man, why would they put a character in this game called trash? I'm like, no, it's Basara, not Basura. <laughs> <laughs> Basara. All right, so let's see if he can if he can play the zone properly. You already know Justin's lame, so like it's like him playing but not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now poison, right? So he's got the poison, and even in even in MVC two, a game that's known for all of its rushdown, he was lame in MVC two as well. Yeah. And CVS too. He plays pretty lame. <laughs> so the Eddie Lee school, yeah. <laughs> I saw him ratio one Vega defeat so He's many yeah. people. It's ridiculous. It's like if he if he wins first character with Vega, like you've already lost. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. So Basara, a uh, lot of uh, like. He's very matchup dependent, but he's very, very tricky. And that fireball right there is like one of the core pieces of his tool. And that right there, backdashing the fireball, very punishable if it whips, but it is an overhead. So it's actually an overhead, so you have to be careful of that. But yeah, obviously he has all the ability to trick you where he is. He's got all these options. He can make it look like he's walking. He can make it look like he's jumping. He can make it look like he's uh, dashing, but they're all fakes. Yep, all the shadow clones. So yep. then it's like he's trying to bait you into trying to punish these jumps. So then he punishes your punish attempt. Yep. And there, like I said, this is the mix up right now. He gets the lockdown. Oh, he didn't throw another fireball. Usually every time you get the knockdown, you throw the fireball because it has slight tracking capability. Mm -hmm. It's like if you're an MVCI player, it's like a, a poor tracking, a poor tracking reality stone. <laughs> 
yeah, Justify now playing a lot of zoning. And yep. Earthquake has to approach him at this point, and he's not going to let him. Fireballs and the, the use of that stand medium, it's just too much for him. Yep. And that hits on the way back, yep. And it ends up making it safer. And here comes the fireball. Back dash from Justin. T time winding down, but we're not going to get there. I think maybe what Lightning is going to have to do is hard read for a butt slam to yeah. close the distance. Now, one of the biggest problems in this fight, too, is that any time an Earthquake jumps, like Vasada can actually just DP him out of the air for free. Mm -hmm. So he's got to figure out a way in. I mean, obviously Earthquake has the range, but it's just this fireball projectiles that's causing him so much problem. Real jump from Justin right there. Yeah, Justin's always at the See, fake Ooh. jumps? Oh, then it's a real, real jump, one. yeah. And there's a lot of the, the, the confusion that Basara can cause the opponent. Oh, but he got he hit, he hit the real one because he has the range. Yep. He is still there. Even when he's uh, invisible, he's still yeah. there. Like, the hitbox is still there, so you can you can hurt him. Yeah, and like I said, so after he does that instant fireball off the back dash, he's very punishable. However, like, uh, obviously, Earthquake is a little bit slower. But I think he should have the range so that even if he, if he jumps over it or avoids it somehow, he can still punish him. But Justin is just doing such a good job. Went for the command throw. It was a little too far for it, so he's going to get punished for it. But that's fine. Still a huge life lead. Yeah. Any Eason activation here? You got to... Oh, he already used it. That's right. He already used it. My bad. Ooh. Yeah. What trade? Yeah, trade in Justin's favor for sure. What is happening here? Five seconds. Yeah. At and this yeah. point in time, Justin yeah. can just block and he's okay. Yeah, he can literally just walk backwards. Anything he gets hit with is not going to be enough. Um, as long as he doesn't get hit by super special move. <laughs> look at Justin. He's laughing like, man, this is so lame. <laughs> <laughs> literally what he's thinking right now. <laughs> man, I'm being so lame. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> Fossil is a cool character. <laughs> he's such a sick character. Man, I'm just waiting for Mina. Why they gotta, why, why is it so long? <laughs> <laughs> Like, they announced five characters at EVO, and I'm like, the one I want is the fifth out of those yeah. five? I'm like, come on! Yeah, I want Wanfu, dude. I'm excited for Wanfu. Let's go, yeah. Wanfu. He I throws a it. pillar at you, I'm, dude. I'm happy that you're excited. He <laughs> carves his face into his pillar. I'm, I'm yawning until I get my baby meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want your waifus. I get it. I get it. Yes. Uh... I want. I, I was hoping that uh, Wu could be my waifu, but you know <laughs> she's just uh, right now. Unfortunately, still not strong enough. Even yep. though she's been constantly getting buffed. And she has cool stuff though. It's just hard to really yeah, hit and, people. And it's, it's, <laughs> she's also a character that you can tell the developers are very scared to make too strong. Right. Right away. You know. Because that's the type of character that will make people quit fighting games. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Exactly. So they're buffer little by little, oh, and what? I'm okay with that. What? what? That could not have been on purpose? You know, I mean, I Eason by accident a lot. Really? And he keeps forgetting about the... Because I mash buttons when I get hit. <laughs> and so I just, you like, know I, I, I burst in the middle of, uh, like, combos. Like, every time Genjuro hits me with a Rekka, I, like, burst accidentally because I just mash buttons when I get hit. You can OS jump it now. It's true, it's true. <laughs> Mm, got close enough, yeah. And yeah, both times he's actually missed the Isen off of the um, off of the uh, wall jump from Justin faking him out. Yeah, you got to be careful. Air fireball. I mean, we know that uh, Yashimaru, his air fireball has just mad delay. Mm -hmm. Same thing actually with Basara, which is why that backdash fireball isn't abusable. He has so much delay off of his air fireballs. Like that, you see how long he lands and then he still has that crouching animation when he lands. So he is very punishable. See, right there, he could have punished him. Lightning, lightning did not yeah. punish him, but he could have. Yeah, that's the, I think the range Lightning needs to be at, at the at the very edge of his stand H. Nice. And then as soon as Justin throws anything, you know, try to punish him with that. Even if he blocks it, he's not going to punish him for max range. Right. Oh, that jump on this Oh, but again, the trade. That one not too bad this time. Yeah, it's still frustrating because you're like, I'm in. No, I'm not. Nice. There it is. There like we go. Said, there's the butt slam. Yeah, it's, it's taken a while for him to go for that. Oh, 
I thought you were talking about the de that butt slam. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. The teleport butt slam for sure. You see, right there, as soon as he whiffs that, you could probably even do the teleport dive, catch him as well. 14 seconds left on the clock. Oh, oh man, and he had the life lead and just started running into things. Oof. Opportunity was there. Justin looks like he's about to close this out. Yeah, the only thing that can save him at this point is a super special move. <laughs> and Justin's like, nah, nah. <laughs> and there it is. Justin's going to take it with that Basara. It's quick to in, him. In a pure Justin fashion yeah. right there. It felt quick even though we went to time like twice. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So up next we are going to have Andy OCR. Wow, this is winners quarters already. Andy OCR and Willie. Of the oh, bracket. Oh, of the bracket. Pool. Of the bracket. Of the bracket. Yeah. My bad. It's pool one, winners quarters finals. It's Andy OCR versus Wooly. Wow. Okay. It's kind of a high profile match yeah, here exactly. quickly. But again, like I said, a lot of strong Samurai Sharon players have traveled here, so I'm sure a lot of the pools have killers everywhere mm -hmm. in them. Uh, Alex Vai, I know, has entered the tournament. Yeah, he was top eight at Evo. Did you, you saw that you saw the, that little infographic of the average age of the top eight at Evo this last year? No, I did not. Dude, it was the greatest thing because it was like, this oh, game's 26, <laughs> 26, 23, 25, 26. Sam Ray Shadow was like 33. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's go, old man. Let's go. Old men and their fundamentals. Exactly. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, like kids these days uh, look at me talking about kids these days i'm getting old you're man. sounding like but, an old man here and but, you're still uh, a baby too by the way listen i'm gonna be 31 next week god <laughs> oh no right like i'm over the hill already <laughs> man but no i feel like i've already been rolling shoots. down the hill for a while now so i feel like um now like younger fgc is more interested in like flashy combos and things and like they think oh if i can't like put you in a blender and like super mix you then it's not a good a, it's not a fun game and i'm like do you understand my heart races more playing sam show than any other fighting game right now. <laughs> Dude, this like i said this game is about adrenaline rushes yes. man this is so much about adrenaline rushes. oh my god speaking of adrenaline rush what a call out at the start of the round andy ocr just says you know what i'm gonna counter you with chube half life oh. gone already oh. now he's chilling god every time i see jube's counter it's just what? like oh god it feels so good <laughs> Yeah, Willie's nodding. He's like, all right. <laughs> okay. I would have pressed a button That's again. Like, you can't scare me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he definitely scared him, though. <laughs> into doing nice. nothing at round start. That's a, that's a technique that I don't see enough people use as much now. The, the, the just defend into the counter attack. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's very effective. It works very well against jump ins and stuff, except on cross ups like that. But, but remember, only like three or four characters have jumping cross ups in this game. Darlie and Charlotte being two of the main ones. And Shizu. Shiki. Shizu and Shiki, yes. I think those might be the only four. Just okay. kind of zoning with that. And you got to watch out because Darlie can reflect fireballs, but she needs to start up the hammer right. in order to do it. And we haven't seen any hammer uses from Willie, even in his last match, either. Another counter attempt. Yeah, and he... Oh, all right. Okay, okay. Want to put, put the this... fear in him. No yeah. fireballs for the, for the time being. And, uh, this makes sense because he's down a lot in life, and this is the last round. Could be okay. the great equalizer. Okay, doesn't go for a weapon flipping technique oh. combo. What was that 2H? That was kind of random, no? <laughs> Went for the deflect, and now no more meter for anything. So Andy OCR has got the chip potential here. He's probably going to try to either lightning hands him or just wait for him to jump. Yeah, yeah you saw him go for the heavy fireball there for a little bit extra chip. And then that air-to-air, -air, one of the best anti-airs in the game. Yes. <laughs> jump M. Jump B, such a great anti-air. Probably See, I always say like light, medium, heavy instead of APC. All right, and Ooh. oh, got him! Okay. Yeah, come here, boy. And that's like one of uh, her best pokes as well because it has good range. But oh wow, wake up spot dodge. Okay. Oh, tried to go for the deflect. Nice Ouch. throw. Mm. Oh, that's oh. right. They changed it so she can get standing Got C him. on both throws. No, he didn't get him. I thought he was going to catch him on the way up. 
Yeah, I think they, they changed it so she can get standing C on both throws now. That's right. That's right. Because that's definitely what he just did there. Oh, no! Ah! Should have emptied. But, you know, he probably he just forgot again. I, I don't think we'll see Willie uh, get hit by that again. But. Well, I mean, the problem is if you keep empty jumping, you know, it's then you're free to anti-air as well. Right. So you got to keep doing jump attacks. It's just a, a read on when when oh, you want to no. go for it. Did you spot that, Jason? I think so. So now Wooly with no more resources, things are not looking good for him yeah. at this point in time. Down a game, down a round, and down on health. And, and now, he, oh, he's gonna activate it himself? He could have just yeah, I think there. this is dead. No, nah, almost. The okay. would have done it. He, there was no way for him to stop it. Wow, that barely hit. That like hit on the very last frame. But Andy OCR continuing his dominant Samurai Showdown play. Yeah, that man. And it's, it's uh, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying the super strong fundamentals. Like, yeah. he doesn't really, like, a lot of times players have either tendencies or, like, habits. You can't really read any of those from him. Yeah. Like, he always presses the right button at the right time. He doesn't, like, really, sp like, for lack of a better word, spam things. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's easy to go into, like, autopilot, right? right? And just keep doing the same thing. He's always mixing it up. He's never getting too frantic, like too ahead of himself. He's just calculated and, mm -hmm. and you know, methodical. Yeah, and you know, for me, it's it's also just super happy to see Andy OCR back in the mix. Mm -hmm. He was such a strong Street Fighter Four player. He was such a strong Street Fighter Cross Tekken player. Then you know, kind of oh, took a man, break. Cross Tekken. Yeah, he he took a break. You know, got married, and now he has a wonderful, wonderful little golden retriever. Oh God, that dog is so adorable. <laughs> I thought you were gonna Shout say like a, a wonderful like little angel of a child. Or no, something. no, well, the dog counts. <laughs> yeah. You know, basically, golden retriever. Shout out to Winston, by the way. Hope Winston is feeling better. I know the dog's been a little sick recently, but beautiful. I love golden retrievers, and so you I, don't say. I love. I don't believe you. Dude, Winston is just like the most adorable dog ever. But now he's back in the mix here so he's back in the mix he's playing fighting games again samurai showdown is the one that seems to be uh working out for him and it's just i'm really happy to see him playing fighting games again because he's such a talented player so uh yeah golden golden retrievers or cats which no, one you no, only michael. get to pick one you have to no, pick one michael no <laughs> no i someone at one time asked me like i i had to pick rice or noodles like, if I had to give up rice or noodles for the rest of my life, which one would I pick? And I said, just kill me. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You didn't think about it properly, right? I feel like there's more styles of noodles than there are of rice. So I would give up rice just because I can still have the variety of, like, all the different types of noodles. Uh, but the thing is, I mean, look, I'm Asian, okay? I can't eat meat <laughs> barely without rice. I have to have rice in everything, okay? Fair. It's just I the mean, way it works. I mean, I understood where you were going with that, but, you know, what? if they if gun to your head, like, you would literally say pull the trigger. Oh, wait, what did you? I didn't see. <laughs> Oh, rice noodles. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I know, right? That's true. Uh, maybe I could even make noodles and chop them up to make fake rice or something like that, you know? Yeah, right? Oh, man. Wait. Is there a Mr. Crimson in Sam Show and in Street Fighter? It's the same one. It's the same one. So that's they're they're coming up next, I think. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. This oh, is like, a score versus Big KO. Got As you can you. see on okay. the back of his shirt, he actually has a Big KO shirt, which is super cool. Yeah, it's on there the you back. Go. You guys can't see it, but we promise it says what Big KO that? on the back. So wait, so uh, I'm trying to awesome. see uh, oh, Big KO. What does that say on the front of his shirt? Ooh. North Battlefield. Battlefield. North Battlefield. Okay. There you go. I'm sorry. This is his first ever tournament, okay. and he's going up against someone who's qualified. Yikes. <laughs> Dang. And hey. he's going some against someone who's already qualified at UFA, from UFA. But he made it to winner's quarter, so he's, he's got to know a little something. Yeah. It's exciting for him, though. And then, oh, that's, I, it's beautiful. I love hearing about people coming out. For, in fact, you know what? Like One of the nice things about Samurai Shodown, I, I, one of my best friends has never been all that into fighting games, but after last Evo, he really liked Samurai Shodown, what he saw, and he's picked it up, and he's been playing in the Ronin Rumbles and stuff like that, and he's been having a great time with the game.
I actually love this matchup as a Hawk Maru player. Really? Like, yeah, this is. Uh, I think Square is going to be very comfortable here. Yeah, that running uppercut is such a problem for Earthquake. He can't take to the air as much. And uh, looks like uh, Big KO is really just going for those uh, butt drops. Yeah, it's like kind of kind of random, like full screen bounce. <laughs> oh, uh, dang! Hello. What? He's just having fun. He's having fun. I'm not. I'm so confused. I like this. I like this. Let's go, Big KO. Ah, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Let's guess. go. The last person I saw do that was Chris G. Yeah. Actually, I think Henry used to do that too. Uh, sounds like a Henry thing to do. <laughs> He's old, he's Chinese, he's grumpy, he's going to do it. I can say that as an old, grumpy, grumpy Chinese, Chinese man, okay? <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice, juicy hit right there. Ooh. Oh, did he get him? Nope. No. Oh, he even had the max punish, too. Oh, that what was actually face? a failed combo oh, yeah. on Scores Bar, but it worked. Yeah. Worked out for him. Big KO pressing know. the buttons. Got okay. to relax. Yeah, see, like, his, that's the thing about Earthquake is, like, his buttons, they do obviously outrange Haomaru, but he can't really stop Hao's jump-ins, right. which we just saw a huge jump in there at the start. <laughs> and if uh, we go into neutral and he starts pressing buttons, Hao can just throw fireballs and, and beat him that way. He can't jump in on him because Squirt clearly has the reactions for the DPs. So, really, the only way Earthquake beats Haomaru as if Haomaru allows him to. Yep. <laughs> That's oh. why I say it's a great matchup. Like, what do you what do? You do? What does Earthquake do? What would you do? <laughs> WWED. <laughs> what would Earthquake do? He would probably pull out a giant turkey leg and start eating it. <laughs> the butt chicken? Yeah, the butt chicken. Yo, shout I, shout my, out to my head cannon is still that it's a, it's a, it's a dragon leg. Right, and that, that's why Wu is here because she's mad because Earthquake is eating <laughs> all, the, all the eating all the dragons. So, wow, he's just what going for it. That is definitely my head cannon right there. Oh, he got him with the East End, and that's gonna kill. There it is, big KO with the KO. All right, let's go, big KO. Finally on the I board. love it. Look at Score. He's laughing, dude. He's having a good time. I love it. Mm. Oh, it could have been a much bigger punish there with grab. Oh, and then oh, can't stop it. Yep. Weapon flip. You have no more. Oh, just picks it up and didn't take any damage from it. Yeah, lucky. Oh, clipped him with the uppercut. Yeah. Uh, in again. Mm, caught him crouching. So easy combo right there. Just needs to chip him out. There it is, run uppercut, Score is gonna take it. I don't think Score threw a single fireball. That whole, that whole <laughs> but I mean, honestly, shout outs to Big KO. One of his friends told us this is his first tournament ever. Mm. That's super cool. I yeah. mean, that's awesome that come out and play in a tournament like this. Made it to winner's quarters, still yeah. in the tournament. He's, he's just on the loser side. And also, another thing too, uh, I mentioned this in passing a little bit, the Ronin Rumble. Definitely want to give a shout out to Jeff the Hero. Absolutely. He's been running the Ronin Rumble every Sunday, weekly online, free to enter Samurai Showdown tournament. Uh, you it's can so follow big that. Now. Like SNK officially recognizes yeah, it. Yeah, it's on twitch.tv slash Jeff the Hero. That is, of course, G E O F F. G off. G off the Hero. <laughs> like Jeffrey the Giraffe from yeah. the now RIP Toys R Us, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> But, uh, you know, so if you're a player who wants to get a, a, a lot of the players that are winning these tournaments are people who enter that Ronin Rumble a lot as mm -hmm. well. So um, personally, myself, uh, I've talked with Jeff about this. I kind of want to do a spinoff of the Ronin Rumble, like called like the Ronin Ruckus or something or something, but basically for beginners. Oh, OK. So you don't have Andy OCR running right. through your brackets <laughs> and, and smashing everybody. But like do a tournament for beginners. That would actually be really cool. Yeah. Um, we had something like that in South Florida for a little while for uh, Street Fighter, I think like Ultra Street Fighter 4, but yeah. it was it was just hard to, with, with the way we had it was like a top player would teach yeah, uh, okay, a, okay, a younger okay. player. That's cool, that's cool. And then cool. like kind of send them out. But um, yeah, that sounds really cool. I hope you, I hope you yeah. do get into that. It, it's hard because I travel so much so right. that, that it's hard for me to find a consistent schedule to right. stream this kind of thing, but 
I, I, I've, I've, I just got to be better about it. I just, I mean, that's the nice thing about what Jeff's done, is that he's taken all the dead, and he's even said so himself. He's like, I'm not a TO, man. I'm not a TO. But right. he's taken he the time to the game. do this. He's done this every week, so shout outs to him for the effort of it. It's one of the hardest things to do, to keep doing something like this week after week, and he's doing it, so. You know, I, I got to say it, he might live in NorCal now, but he'll always be a Florida boy. So <laughs> shout out <laughs> to Florida right, boys. That's right. <laughs> I'm always biased towards any anybody and anything that comes from Florida. So Florida boys. <laughs> nice, nice. So are you are you a fan mostly of Florida oranges as well? I do actually. Like, okay. <laughs> I, I used to not. Actually, I didn't like oranges for like 20 five years and then one day i was just like i had some orange juice and i was like this is pretty good and now i eat now i eat oranges do you, you <laughs> want to know what what the secret tech with oranges are though the, which makes them super good you know how you go to chinese restaurants and they feed you oranges at the end of the day or whatever like that mm -hmm. one secret tech with oranges is that after you eat oranges eat them with your hands straight up mm -hmm and you don't even need to clean your hands afterwards. Uh, your hands are so clean after, it's great. That's why people put orange juice in like cleaning products and stuff, like orange, like citrus in them. It's like, it's weird. You think that like, you're handling- would, would you be sticky? It's not. Huh. Do it, try it one of these days. Like you'll actually just like peel the orange, eat the orange and just let your hands dry and it's just like super clean. Okay. There it is. Interesting, learn something new every day. <laughs> I, um, sometimes I just feel like players should just not random the stage and just go straight to Mikata Gahara because I feel like that's the most beautiful stage. Which one's that one? The one with the red moon. And which is actually yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, my my favorite one is is the is the nighttime version of the of the beach one with mm. the with the with the arches. I love that stage. But yeah, they're they're all beautiful though. But I just feel like Mikata Gahara is like the top. Oh no. All right. Wow. So Mr. Crimson gonna go right away into that uppercut. Which is fine though, because it made healthy Ooh. practice uh, blow his rage explosion. Yeah, I know. That's sometimes just like a panic, like when you're like, oh right. no, I'm about to get weapon flipping technique. I'm gonna burst. I, I, you know, it's what it's almost kind of a win. Right. Like Mr. Crimson can't be that mad. Right. You lost. He lost the round, but like now his opponent, he doesn't have to worry about getting right. weapon flipped for the rest of this. He can still, you know. Uh, burst on his own when it, if he needs to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's the thing. One of the, the crucial things about Samurai Showdown is obviously in a lot of other fighting games, rounds are super important, right? Like win the round, use whatever. The thing about this game is that two of your resources are game dependent, right? right? The burst and the SSMs. So actually, those resources can be as valuable as a round. Mm -hmm. So in this situation, even though Mr. Crimson is down a round, you actually can it feel feels like, like he's winning. <laughs> yeah, you can feel like you're not in a down position. You can feel like you're even because you still have your meter to save yourself with bursts and stuff like that. Oh, my like right goodness. now, oh, he didn't even try. He just uppercut him. I can't believe how nutty that was. But uh, See, I thought he was gonna burst right there to illustrate my example of saving. <laughs> Saving the burst, but oh, oh that super special move. And I like say, it. there you go. That's one of the reasons why, because now he didn't, he couldn't burst that. Now, once you get deflected, you can burst, but no, not in that situation. Yep, guaranteed 70 percent. Ouch. And weapon yep. flip is that enough? It's nah. gonna be very, very close. Nah, not even. Actually, not even that <laughs> close. Okay, never mind. Oh, that could have been round. It's fine though. Ah, uh, but he yeah. has the uppercut reaction. He had, he had everything. Yeah, hell life. He had like, um, he still had his his burst. Mm -hmm. and that was that was pretty much over. Yeah, but again, that's a perfect See. example right there of why even after the first round that he lost it, you're just. You're in such an advantageous position when they've used their meter. It's such a different mindset that you have to have when you're playing this game about rounds and uh, bursts and SSMs, you know? Yeah, meter management's so important. Oh, God. Yeah, see? And again, he forced them into a round one burst again. Right, and you traded two resources. You traded an SSM 
for the e for the burst, right? right. But the thing about it, bursts are a little bit more useful than uh, SSMs because those are harder to land. Yep. So it's actually a, po a net positive for Mr. Crimson because now he never has to worry about rage. He never has to worry about, about getting Ethan, like weapon flipping techniques if he gets tossed or anything like that. Right. <laughs> So it's a very different kind of resource management that that shows up in this game because rounds end up just being a resource. <laughs> oh, big. Oh! Okay. No need to even weapon flip. Yeah, keep it for the next round. Yeah. <laughs> Although it'll go away really fast. Kenjuro's yeah, weapon go. flipping technique, his rage is one of the shortest rages in the game. Oh, the cross up, he didn't jump OS it. I never jump OS it either. Yeah. I just I, I never react to it in time. I, well, it's you have to block the first one and right. then jump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. then I just block the first one. I'm like, what? And then that's too late <laughs> at that point. So it's easier for me to to, to just mash on jump than to react to cross up. <laughs> so. That is the story of my fighting game career. Is what? <laughs> I get caught off guard way too easily. Yeah, Mr. Crimson now just needs Ooh. one more hit. There it is. The kick is gonna be enough, and there it is. Mr. Crimson, all the way from the U from Europe, taking that. Yeah, from France. Um, so good stuff to him, and yeah, help me practice. That that was uh, that was just a message to everybody in the room. <laughs> help me practice so that I can beat Mr. Crimson. Exactly. <laughs> it's a little too late though. Oh man! But once again, shout outs to all the sponsors who help make Canada Cup. Gaming keep going year after year such as Mountain Dew and Doritos get yourself a Mountain Dew on the cap will be the code to give you a free 2 XP to get all of your cool stuff in Call of Duty Modern Warfare you could also win 2 XP for a whole year and the Odafest 2020 coming to you in May on the May 15th through 17th weekend at the TELUS Convention Center in Calgary, Alberta. Anime, video games, cosplay, and more. Check them out on all of the social media at OtaFest, as well as checking out OtaFest.com to see all of the features and shows and panels and guests and everything that will be showing up to OtaFest 2020. They are advertising super early for that. That's next year in May. <laughs> they want to make sure we know about All right, we know. <laughs> hey, you know what? Get prepared, man. Yeah, Get absolutely. Prepared. Better, to be, better to be early than late. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You don't want to be like one week right before and be like, hey, OtaFest, you know? like So good stuff to them. But uh, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be going to more pool. Actually, we're going to be going back to pool one. So definitely don't go anywhere. More Samurai Showdown after this. Game's on. Sorry, Dad. Can't pause. 